this video we will log in using access and refresh tokens. If we restart now, we can see that uh, we are using the refresh token to get the authenticated user. Before we build the app, I would like to remind you that this video can be combined with other videos. So if you want to use Vue.js with any of these backend frameworks and more, because I don't know how many backend frameworks I will add, check the links in the description of this video to select your favorite backend framework. Now let's build the app. We will start with a pre-created view app that contains three components, all in HTML. They will have a simple router configuration and in our app component they will have the same header and some common styles. The app will look like this and I also used bootstrap on index.html. Now it's time to register, so go to the register component and add there the setup function. So we will use the view 3 composition API syntax in this tutorial. Next we will add the submit function that we will return it and we will use it on our HTML when we submit the form. Now we need to send the request to the backend, so we need to install a package called Axios. Make sure also to import it. Now to submit the form I will use a different way than usual, so I will use the name on the inputs. In the event that our submit function will emit, will contain all the inputs that we need. So for that I will create a form from form data using the event.target. Next we will convert the form entries to an object and the result will be similar if we used reactive inputs. Next, we'll send an Axios POST request to the register endpoint with the inputs that we got. One thing that we can change in this request is the prefix, so we can use uh, that prefix for all the other requests. So for that, I will create a new folder with an axios.js file in it. In that file, we will define the base URL, which will be the prefix for all our requests. Then go to main.js to import that file. Now when we go to our register component we can remove that prefix and our request will look better and it will work the same. So now we can register users but uh, we want uh, to redirect to the login page once uh, the request is successful. So for that we need to import a router and uh, in the end we will push to our login page. If we try to register a user now it will work as it should and we will redirect. We will do the same thing for the login component now, since uh, login and register are almost similar, I will copy the setup function from the register component and I will paste it to the login component. Let's add the missing imports use router from view router and also let's import Axios. The endpoint will be login and in the end we will redirect to the home page. Don't forget to add submit.prevent on the HTML to submit our function. Still our login request has not finished yet because we will get an access and a refresh token from the server. To get the refresh token, it is in the cookies, we need to use an option with credentials to true when we send the request. Otherwise we won't be able to get the cookies from the backend. The access token will be returned in the response, so we need to create a variable for it. I will deconstruct it, so we need only the data of the response. That data contains the access token, which we need to use it in the headers of every request now as a bearer token. Now when we try to log in with our registered user, we will see that the response will return a refresh token cookie. Then if we log in again, we will see that uh, in the second request we will have uh, in the authorization header a bearer token. Now let's get the authenticated user in the home component. We will add the setup function with a message variable. That message variable will be displayed on the h3 tag in the HTML. Then we will add a non-mounted function. This function will be called once the HTML has been rendered. Inside we will send an Axios request to get the authenticated user. We need to get the response data of that request and that data contains the authenticated user. With that we will change the message value. If we check it on the browser now we will see nothing because uh, probably the access token has expired. So we have to log in again and now we will see high test which is uh, the authenticated user. But this will last only for 30 seconds. 
So when the user gets unauthenticated, we have to use the refresh token to get a new access token. For that, we need to use an interceptor in our axios.js file. We have to check it only on the error case and we have to check if the status code is 401, which means unauthorized. If the status is 401, then we have to send a POST request to refresh our token. Don't forget to add with credentials to true because we need to send also the refresh token cookie. We will get the data and the status from the response. If the status is 200, it means that we got a new access token and we have to add that access token to all the headers. And after that we have to do our previous request and error.config contain information about our previous request. With this we are getting the authenticated user and even if we refresh the page we will fail the first time, we will access the refresh token and we will get the authenticated user. Still, this interceptor is not finished yet because we have one last change to make and we will make that change when we add the logout button in the home component. Let's add also the logout function and let's return it in the end. In the logout function, we need to send a POST request to the logout endpoint. We need also with credentials to true because we will remove the refresh token cookie. We need also to set all the authorization headers to an empty string and that will remove also the access token. In the end we want to redirect to our login page so we need to import the router and we will push to the login page. Also I will wrap the unmounted function with a try catch because in case the user is unauthenticated we will still redirect to the login page there also. So let's test the logout. When we log out, we will redirect and everything is ok. But when I go back, we will see refresh is called multiple times. So I will stop the server and I will restart now. So why is this happening? This is happening because we get unauthenticated and when we call the refresh uh, endpoint, we will still get unauthenticated because we removed the cookie and we will go here again and this will be an infinite loop. So we have to find a way to call the refresh endpoint only once and we will do that with a refresh variable. We will add that variable in the if condition when it's not refreshed and then we will set the refresh to true. This means we won't be stuck in an infinite loop and in the end we will add the refresh false again to call the refresh endpoint otherwise it won't be called anymore. With this, the user and the refresh endpoint are called only once and we cannot go to the home page unless we log in. When we log in, we will get redirected there and it will display our names. So this is how we can log in with access and refresh tokens. Also, if you want a more complicated course, I created the ultimate authentication course with Node.js and Vue.js or you can select another backend language because uh, they are the same. Uh, in this course, you will learn a lot more complex things like sending emails, uh, using two-factor authentication with Google Authenticator and social authentication with your Google account. So I will provide the link of this course in the description of this video and thank you for following this video.